What's up guys? Chris Cross here. So I'm looking at a 2020 Rad Mini 4 and this might be one of the most ratted, uh, modded Rad Minis uh, in the country right now. So at my buddy's uh, Victor's house and uh, he's letting me uh, check out the bike today. So I'm going to go over all the mods he's made and give you a sense of uh, what he did to it. And uh, got some, some custom stuff here, some pretty cool uh, some add-ons and uh, we'll go over this uh, pretty cool looking black uh, Rad Mini 4 that they bought back in the 2020. So uh, let's see here. So I'll give you a quick rundown and then uh, we'll bring Victor over and you can uh, talk more, more about the uh, the parts and stuff. But um, it's, got a, it's got two 14 amp hour batteries, the original Rad here and then one on the, on the back here on the platform that he made. It's got uh, 20 by 4 Chow Yank tires, not the original ones that the uh, Rad came with. He's got a 35 amp controller down here that uh, allows him to increase the speed to about 28 miles an hour and a new uh, control pad up here, which I'll show you later, or display panel, I mean. What else? We've got uh, a DateX parallel battery adapter. Uh, he got that from Big Game Bikes online. It's, uh, it's down on the bottom down here. That connects the uh, extra battery. We've got a 56 tooth chain ring uh, to help with the speed. And um, a skid plate. Where's the skid plate, right here, Victor? Yes. Okay, so there's a skid plate that protects the um, control controller there. We've got a horn and alarm from Juice Bikes. I'll show you pictures of all this stuff uh, kind of at the end of the video. We've got a biker seat. We've got Tannis liners on there. We've got half knee and bar mirror. Uh, we've got Suntour uh, suspension seat post here. Got to have one of those. We've got a uh, 48 to 12 volt transformer built into the platform here, especially made. Uh, you can plug in basically like cigarette uh, lighter uh, style uh, accessories in there. It's got two ports for those. It's got a 12 volt LED tail light on the back, which I'll show you. Uh, dual 12 volt power outlets, as I mentioned, and um, a bunch of different bags here. One here, a triangle bag, and then two on the back here. These little uh, uh, pouches that he has on there. So it's a really interesting looking, uh, you know, mod. Very clean looking. And he's done a really nice job with this overall. So, so here's a look at the uh, real tear light there. Um, we've got the, uh, the front light here. What what um, what kind of light is this again, Vic? It's a night light, actually an off-road light, the kind you put on top of jeeps and stuff. There's Vic right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he, I think you said he put about a thousand bucks into this. Is that correct? Uh, more like 1200 1200 okay. So he basically has already put the money in he bought the bike for, yeah. uh, into the bike. Um, and top speed is, uh, I think you said 28, right? 28. Yep. Uh, the most you've done ever in a, in a one ride would be... Uh, Was uh, 58 miles. 58 miles. Yeah. Yep. So, and this is your first e-bike, is that correct? Yes. What, um, what's your favorite part about it, do you think? Favorite part would yeah. be just... The ability to go farther and faster that's it yeah why did you um, uh, what made you purchase an e-bike in the beginning uh, I was thinking thinking about it then the 2020 stimulus check came in <laughs> <laughs> and that's it I did it there you go nice still got the original uh, uh, um, uh, fork on there yeah. Um, the pedals are still original. Uh, is that a new rack too, or no, is that the, the same original, rack? The original rack is okay. there. Okay, yeah. that's the, that's the original battery, uh, the uh, tail light. Is that correct? This one down here. Yes. Okay. The fenders are bobbed a little bit too. Are they? Yeah, they were much larger. And run me through the uh, display panel if you could. Just show me, turn that on, and uh, walk me through the uh, settings. Pretty nice uh, display. Okay, to get into settings, you, you hit up and down within five seconds of turning it on. That's the settings. You can set so many things on this. It's very, very uh, uh, user controllable. You can change um, just about every level of pass. You can set That's the- That's P1, P2, P3 there? Exactly, okay. yeah. Um, along with uh, cruise control, um, you can Put it so it'll run a little mild, milder, you know, not so strong. Mm -hmm. Because um, like, what's PAS start at in terms of the uh, speed? Uh, the 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 uh, 
the pass level? Yeah. Speed wise? Yeah. Do you have a range there? What, what's the range that you do? Uh, pass pass one. I don't have the exact numbers, but it's like something like seven pass one. But if I move up the settings, pass one will give me twelve or thirteen. Mm -hmm. So it's highly customizable. Okay. Can you get out of that and go back to the main screen for a second? Yep. Okay. So yeah, very very colorful. So you got the battery voltage there. What's the name of this display panel, by the way? Um, Kate uh, Kuntang is it? A KT LCD 8H. It comes as a package with the 35 amp controller. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. which is down here. Yes. Um, well, and uh, where did you get the controller from? Uh, got both of them, controller and screen, as a package from Electro Bike World. I'll put links to all this in the uh, description, audience. Um, okay. I mean, how easy was all this to uh, to do? How long have you been working on it, too, by the way? Most of this was plug and play. Very easy. And I've been modding it since I got it on day one. <laughs> I'm still modding. I can't stop modding. What was, the, what was your very first mod? Uh, very first mod, major mod, was the controller and screen. Gotcha. Nice. Has a good torque now? Do you know what the torque is? Gosh, it's it's a lot. <laughs> I don't know the exact number, but yep. it's got a lot of torque. Well, let's uh, take it for a ride. Sure. Okay. Good. Show you some uh, ride footage, and uh, we'll close out the video. Right, so we do a test of that uh, yellow sign up there. We're in P, uh, PS5 gear four. Ready? Okay. One, three. two, three, go. Which one is the better hill climber? Oh man, look at him go. Uh, 35 amp controller in there, and he just blew the rattan away. No contest. I'd say you got some torque. That's actually a Bafang 750 motor in here and you just took out the existing one and used the same casing here? Yes. So uh, how did that go? Easy, very easy. Just pop one out, pop the other one in. Uh, and it's, uh, what, what does a motor like that cost to, to buy? About 220 or so. 220? Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Uh, Electro Bike World. That's your bike world? Gave me uh, eight miles per hour or more. Lots of torque. Torque, yeah, definitely not the torque. I mean, uh, you saw that hill video, guys, so that's the way to go. All right, I ride the uh, rad here. So it's thump, I got a little thump throw going on here, okay. Is it full throttle to 28? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's got great pickup. Smooth delivery. This, this display is awesome. Very nice. A rad ride for sure.